Pursuant to Article 9, Section 16 of the Constitution of the Federated States of Micronesia and Title 3, Section 201 of the Code of the Federated States of Micronesia and as set forth in the official rules of procedure of the Congress, a year by call the 20th Congress of the FSM, 6th Special Session to order. May we all rise for a moment of silent prayer. And doing, in doing so, may I ask that you remember our two colleagues who are in PI for medical uh, attention. Chief Clerk, roll call. Senator Arritos, I mean Senator Andek. Senator Arritos, Senator Figueroa, Senator Coland, Floor Leader Harper, Senator Conman, hey. Vice Speaker Moses, Senator Ned, Senator Panuelo, hey, bye. Senator Perman, Senator Romulo, Senator Orismal, Senator Wally, Speaker Simina. Mr. Speaker, 11 members are present. We have quorum to transact business this uh, morning. Uh, before we continue, item four is appointment of the committee to wait on the president. I hereby appoint Vice Speaker Moses to chair, and he will be joined by Chairman Welly, Chairman Cullen, and Chairman Fikir as members of the committee to wait on the President. Vice Speaker, work with the uh, President's office on uh, time and place of your meeting. Next item, Chief Clerk. Mr. Speaker, the next item is our presidential communications on receipt of numbers 20-341 through 20-356. Point of privilege. Sign those, uh, Chief Bird. Yes, uh, for Leader Harper, state your point. Thank you, uh, Mr. S uh, Speaker. I rise on a point of privilege to take this opportunity to once again introduce certain government officials and other dignitaries who are observing our session this morning. And uh, if I may, Mr. Speaker, I would like to start off to introduce our own Vice President, the Honorable Yuso P. George. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, due to my poor eyesight, I cannot really see who are all those people on the other side of me, but I assume that uh, certain members of the uh, president uh, cabinets are here, but uh, as I said, I cannot really recognize them. So uh, may I just ask that we give them a collective uh, recognition by giving them a uh, round of applause. Mr. Speaker, uh, we are also happy and fortunate to have members of the Dipl Diplomatic Corps who are here this morning also observing our session. And if I may not uh, uh, violate any protocol of the uh, Diplomatic uh, Corps community, uh, I'm happy to start off the introduction uh, by introducing uh, Ambassador, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, His Excellency George Fra Fra Fraser, Ambassador from the Australian Embassy to FSM. May we give him a round of applause. <clears throat> Along with him, uh, we also have His Excellency uh, Ryoji Hori, Ambassador Chairman, Embassy to FSM. 
with those two. Uh, we also have the chief of mission of the Embassy of People's Republic of China, Madam Li. Uh, with those, also we have Deputy Chief of Mission uh, of the Embassy of uh, U.S., uh, Mrs. Heather Kobol. My apology if I have uh, mispronounced any of the names. Uh, and I don't know that there are certain state officials who are also here, but uh, maybe I will let the other members to do the introduction if there are a few of them here around. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Floor Leader Harper. Indeed, uh, I personally join you uh, on behalf of Congress in welcoming our uh, own uh, Honorable Vice President and members of our uh, diplomatic corps who are also here. Thank you for joining us this morning and all of those uh, cabinet members and other officials who are here uh, observing our session, especially for our citizens. Uh, we welcome all of you, but I will also give the other uh, delegations to make their own uh, introduction of particular individuals or uh, people. Chairman Panuelo, you have the floor. Speaker, thank you and uh, good morning to you. Good morning to all the members who are here. I also extend uh, our best wishes to uh, our Vice President who is here and the Cabinet members, all of uh, you who are observing our session this morning. Speaker, I join the uh, floor leader in uh, uh, giving recognition to our uh, Vice uh, President who is here uh, representing the Cabinet. Uh, we thank you, uh, Mr. Vice President, for joining the opening of the session this morning, your cabinet. I also joined the floor leader in uh, welcoming our good friends from the diplomatic corps, and especially the new members who are here in our country. Uh, thank you uh, for that. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I have uh, a list that's before me, but before I go to the list, I just want to uh, wish everybody uh, uh, Good morning and uh, fresh morning to all of you uh, this morning. I know that uh, uh, we will transact business, but uh, most of you have seen the list of uh, those of us who have filed uh, our petition to be candidates. And ours is a very beautiful uh, democracy. We have adopted uh, a democratic system that uh, is fair and orderly. Uh, before I move on, I wish you, especially Speaker, uh, success in the upcoming election and every member of our uh, community here and especially here in Congress. We say uh, uh, there will be opponents, but I, I don't want to say that. I don't think it's opponents. These individuals are good friends and citizens of the FSM and let's uh, wish everybody uh, success in the upcoming election in a fair and orderly election that we uh, uh, all look forward to. And I'm sure our citizens are eager and looking forward to uh, uh, casting their conscience uh, in selecting the candidate that they best wish to represent our citizens uh, throughout the nation. I also uh, am happy to be here this morning because uh, you all look fresh, especially the Vice Speaker, because uh, uh, I'm sorry, Vice Speaker, we missed a big event, but uh, uh, thank you for the invitation <coughs> for your uh, event that uh, took place uh, last month. Speaker, I will go on and introduce uh, some individuals who are here. I will collectively introduce uh, the cabinet uh, who are here, but a uh, few people that are on the list I want to recognize is uh, I will start with uh, uh, Winsner David, who is uh, uh, here. I believe he works with the Department of uh, uh, Health and Social Affairs. Let's uh, give him a round of applause, please. <laughs> Others who are here, I wish to also recognize an individual I met this morning, the former mayor of Colonia Town, Mr. Cassiano Shonifer. Let's welcome him uh, to the chamber. And uh, from other uh, and Mr. Pelanyoma, FSM Supreme Court, let's also give him a round of applause. The list uh, that I have will be presented to our general clerk to, to be entered into the uh, list, but uh, 
Speaker, I have a, a couple who are here that I wish to introduce to our community, especially in this chamber. A couple from uh, Canada who are here and uh, good friends of mine. I would like to introduce uh, uh, Mr. Iman Sirchil Ahmed and uh, Mrs. Uh, wife, uh, Mrs. Uh, Tuba Saleh, who is from uh, Canada. They are in uh, Pohn Bay uh, representing the faith, uh, Muslim faith, the Amatia Muslim community, which I believe was founded uh, way back, 1889. That's before even our nations were born and became independent. Uh, uh, they, they moved to Koshai, I believe most of you know, uh, know the, the faith or the community of uh, Muslim that's opened in Koshai in the early 1990s and now expanded to Bone Bay in uh, 2017. Uh, they represent the face of the uh, uh, Amatiya Muslim community and uh, as you know our, our constitution uh, gives the freedom of uh, religion and I, I thank our uh, FSM community for being so welcoming. Uh, to all forms of religion, and they are the new, one of the new uh, uh, faiths that uh, is uh, in our country. <clears throat> and so let's give them, a, uh, let's welcome them and give them a round of applause. And uh, if you meet them, they're a very nice couple. I wish that uh, all of you can meet them to, to also uh, uh, tell them about our country. And I know that uh, uh, Chairman Willie has already welcomed the. Uh, them in Koshai because they were in Koshai before they expanded to Pompey. So without further ado, uh, Mr. Speaker, let's give this uh, young couple, Sir Jill Ahmed and Tupa Sale, a round of uh, welcoming applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Panuelo. Uh, I join you in welcoming all those you have introduced to our session this uh, morning, uh, especially that young couple uh, who, whom you just uh, introduced last, and uh, they are indeed welcome to uh, join our community of uh, religions in the FSM. Okay, any other? Uh, Mr. Speaker. Chuk? Chairman uh, Aridos? Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I wish to introduce uh, two friends of mine who are observing our session this morning, starting with uh, former Mayor Kisao Esa and uh, Rano Roku. Thank you, uh, Chairman Aridus. Any other uh, speaker? Uh, introduction of uh, people. Uh, I will give it to uh, Senator Kingman first. Oh, okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, again, I would like also to uh, introduce some very important individuals for radicalism who are also here observing our session this morning. And I would like to start off with uh, one of my mayors of the Southern Amunas region, uh, Honorable Taklas Roshanak, Mayor of Tonawas Municipality. Please, let's give him applause. Uh, Director of Marine Resources, Chuk State Government, Mr. Pinasta Rubin. And uh, Ennet, Junior Ennet, Staff Attorney of the Division Supreme Court, Pompey Office. Thank you. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Senator Conman. I think your constituents need some project funding. <laughs> it's about time you give them some. Chairman Mullen, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very good morning to you and everyone in the gallery this morning. On behalf of Chairman Alec, Alec and I, we bring you greetings from that sleeping lady on that eastern island east in the eastern Carolinas. With about 2,700 footers and some angels, we bring you greetings from that island. Mr. Speaker, uh, 
I know the introduction, introduction was made to the uh, His Excellency Vice President, but I want to re-emphasize that introduction. And since there is no other questions in the gallery this morning, and since it's close to election, I want to introduce Tony Otto from Kushayan. Uh, he is Kushayan until March 5th next year, and then we'll get rid of him. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we celebrated yesterday uh, Veterans Day. And my greeting goes to all the veterans in the FSN, especially those who serve with me and Chief of Staff, Colonel Falcon, in the number one uh, branch in the military, the few, the proud, the United States Marine Corps. Hoorah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Chairman Wale, for that. Uh, I'm not sure you're the best uh, in your division, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick with you on that. And uh, Colonel Falcon. Okay, uh, any other? Uh, if none, uh, um, you, can always come, you can always come back. Point. Uh, Chairman Fagir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. If I may uh, follow suit, uh, first uh, on behalf of uh, my chairman, Orusmal, uh, who is not with us this morning, I bring you greetings from the people of Yap, and I send the best wishes for this uh, special session. And um, I also do wish to introduce uh, the all the Yappies among the members of the cabinet, may I introduce uh, Secretary Andrew Yettelman uh, for recognition. Thank you. Speaker. Thank you, uh, Chairman Fakir. Uh, Floor Leader Harbor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, again, I rise on a point of privilege to introduce a few more uh, people from our uh, state of Chuk, especially from my uh, election district, uh, Timorlak uh, region. And uh, I have here with me the least, uh, Peter Cheda, uh, Abel Elon, and Ben Enlet. May I ask that we give them a round of applause. And Mr. Speaker, just for the information of this body and uh, members of the audience, uh, if uh, they are not aware, uh, Ben Enlet is the father of our Consul General at our uh, Consulate Office in Portland. And I learned that uh, uh, the other son, which was, uh, who was introduced by uh, Senator uh, Coleman, uh, Ms. another inlet uh, who is now working at our Supreme Court as a, a law clerk, is also a son of Penn Inlet. And we are very grateful to Penn Inlet for producing those two fine and smart gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Floor Leader Harper, for pointing that information out. Uh, that we, some of us uh, didn't know about it. But what is he doing here in Pompey? Uh, I thought he should be in Portland campaigning for me. <coughs> okay. What well, I think he's doing here in Pompey campaigning for you. Any other uh, point of privilege? If none, uh, let's proceed. Chief Clerk, next item. Yes, Mr. Speaker, the next item is item 6, FSM Supreme Court Communications. There are none. Next item. Item 7, Member Communications, also none. Item 8, Departmental Communications. We have 
Numbers 20-74 through 20-80. Okay, assign those uh, to Kirk. Next. Item 9, Agency or Governmental Authority Communications, there are none. Item 10, State Communications, we have one and it's number 20-30. Sign that, Jim Kirk, next item. Item 11, State Supreme Court Communications, none, Mr. Speaker. Item 12, Municipal or Town Communications, we have one and it's number 20-12. Okay, I signed that, the JPRC. I think that's a noteworthy communication mm -hmm. for members to uh, look at. It's uh, the local effort to support uh, our friends and also citizens in the CNMI. Okay, next item. Item 13, Mr. Speaker, Foreign Government Communications, when receipt of numbers 20-63 through 20-66. Okay, I signed those, JPRC. Okay. Order of the day. Mr. Speaker, under the order of the day, item 14, standing on the reports, there are none. Next. Item 15, special committee reports, also none. Item 16, assignment of measures and communications. We have an assignment or referral sheet, number 20-90. Okay. Item members take note. Next item. Item 17, unfinished business, none, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 18, bill calendar, none. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Oh. Chairman Coolen. Uh, short recess, Mr. Speaker. Short recess, subject to call of the chair. We're back in session. Chip uh, continue. Mr. Speaker, item 19, resolution calendar, we do not have any. Item 20, introduction of bills and resolutions. If you have any bill or measure to introduce, uh, pass them on to Chief Clerk. Next item. Item 21, miscellaneous communications, there are none. Okay. Item 22, miscellaneous business. Any miscellaneous business? Uh, Chairman Banuelo, you first. Yeah, Speaker, thank you. Uh, under miscellaneous business, I just want to say a few words on the issue of uh, natural disasters. And uh, I want to, Speaker, just share a few words on uh, uh, Typhoon U2. I think uh, most of you have read it on uh, the news, uh, the social media, about the destruction of uh, Typhoon U2. Uh, speaker, uh, on the return from my official trip to Guam and to uh, Astoria, Oregon with the R&D committee. I made a side trip uh, to Saipan and I want to just share it. Uh, but before I do that, I thank uh, our communities around the FSM and of course including Congress uh, for the generous support that we have done earlier. And I think you all know that was for Typhoon uh, Mang Mangot, I believe, Mangot and the, the money that's uh, uh, going to Saipan. Uh, speaker, I met our, uh, some of our FSM community and the governor of Saipan and our honorary council uh, in Saipan. And our core group, uh, there's a core group of FSM citizens that's helping in the aftermath of the typhoon. And I just want to say that I've never seen a, a damage so bad as uh, Saipan uh, went through and it's really heartbreaking to see so many homeless individuals who are in shelters uh, uh, out in Saipan. But uh, I will not uh, belabor the issue because I think we all have read about it. <clears throat> uh, some uh, of the Pohnbeans have already gone from PUC to help with the restoring the power on the island. But a lot of our citizens, of some citizens, are living in uh, shelters as we speak. And I want to thank uh, our chairman of uh, uh, ways and means. I understand that he's uh, sponsoring additional appropriation to help Saipan, our brothers and sisters uh, there, with additional appropriation for Typhoon U2. Uh, what I want to share is that in the uh, meeting with the governor of Saipan, uh, speaker, even though it's his uh, prerogative to decide how the money is used, uh, the money that we sent appropriated from Congress, he did uh, share with me that 
because of uh, uh, what he has witnessed with our FSM citizens, uh, he, he, he said he will set aside uh, the money to benefit our, the victims of uh, FSM citizens who are residing in, uh, in uh, uh, Saipan. Uh, maybe that would be officially communicated, but I just want to share with the, with the generous heart of the, of the current governor, Governor Ralph Torres in uh, Saipan, and uh, to thank everyone for the uh, uh, donation drives that are ongoing uh, to, to go to the victims of the uh, U2 uh, uh, typhoon in Saipan. But the good news is that uh, the recovery is uh, pretty quick. Uh, Saipan is very used to the kind of uh, strong disasters that uh, uh, strikes this uh, territory. Uh, the efforts of FEMA and others, the military who are there and the communities have been very, very uh, uh, strong. And our citizens are also helping out in the, uh, in the uh, uh, support that we give to the victims of the typhoon. Uh, speaker, one concern, of course, that we have is, of course, uh, FEMA assistance. And uh, FEMA assistance, we know that we, FSM, benefit a lot of the federal programs that we have, but somehow in the applications that uh, our citizens fill out, uh, applications of FEMA that are filled out in Saipan through disasters like this, uh, there's a section where you have to sign whether you're a citizen or non-citizen, and unfortunately our citizens fall in the category of non-citizens. So I think they, they, they get immediate support like supplies and uh, more immediate type of assistance that they get, but long-term uh, house recovery or renovation, I don't think we, we qualify for those, and I just hope that our two nations can work it out uh, in the long term to get this kind of benefit to our citizens because they are legal uh, legal migrants into uh, the U.S. territories and uh, uh, under the compact, I mean by uh, legal, legal, uh, you know, immigrants, uh, even though we're uh, status is a non-immigrant. But in general, I just hope that the two nations can work it out because our, na our, our, our citizens are quite many in Saipan, Guam, and other places that are prone to this type of uh, natural disaster. Speaker, just uh, a general comment I want to share by being a, a first-hand witness in the aftermath of the typhoon, and it's, it's the strongest I've ever seen, and uh, we hope that all the support we can give would be forthcoming. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Thank you very much, Chairman uh, Manuelo. Uh, Speaker, for making that visit. Uh, there is a bill that's been introduced 20-259 that would uh, appropriate another 100,000 to uh, the recovery efforts in uh, CNMI. So I urge us to take on that bill, see how we can address it. Uh, Chairman Wally. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There is another individual from Bushai that I wish to introduce for recognition. And her name is Sandy Albert from the, she's a chief clerk, MSM Supreme Court. Please, let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Willem, for your introduction. Any other miscellaneous business? Speaker. Yes, uh, Leader Harbor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I was just given a note uh, few seconds ago to introduce another individual who is also observing our session this morning. Uh, uh, he is Mr. Antolin Ned from the Department of Emergency and Climate Change. So please give him a round of applause. Any good cigar this uh, evening? Okay. Uh, any other before we uh, continue on? If none, uh, announcement, Chairman Mole. Uh, thank you, Speaker. No announcement from your committee on XF, External Affairs. Chairman Fagir. Okay, uh, Chairman Berman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good morning to you, members, Vice President, and your cabinet members, the Diplomatic Corps. Your committee on HSA is still in recess, still sleeping. Thank you, Sugar. 
Thank you. You have some uh, nominations, appointments to work on. Remember that. Okay, uh, Chairman Panuelo. Uh, speaker, you are in the committee. It doesn't have any uh, announcement now, but we'll be uh, issuing a notice of hearing on nominations and other uh, bills that's uh, before your committee. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Chairman Cullen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, no announcement, only the invitation from the OEE in regards to the ceremony uh, uh, in Yad. The date is internet. We didn't know the postpone of the date, but all members are invited. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chairman Kodan, work it out with uh, OAE. Uh, what's the exact uh, timetable for that? Okay, uh, Vice Speaker Moses, have you worked out with... Uh... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <coughs> I have uh, consulted with the Vice President and uh, the Committee to Wait will uh, meet immediately after session. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I hope you can uh, push it off like 30 minutes because we have our internal first uh, among members and you can go up to see them. I hope they, uh, they will accommodate that. Okay. Uh, Senator Ned? Thank you, Senator Coleman. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, announcement. Okay, uh, like I said before, uh, floor leader, uh, to his uh, motion, uh, we will have a short uh, get together, members, to plan out uh, what to do during our short uh, special session, okay, in the our lounge. For Leader Harper, any announcement in your motion? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There is no announcement, but since I'm leaving for Chuk this uh, afternoon, I hereby make uh, a motion that we stand in recess until uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Second. second. It's moved and seconded that Congress stand in recess until tomorrow at 10 in the morning. Those in favor say yes. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Congress now stands and reads until tomorrow at 10 in the morning.